Uh, this is the part three of Halloween sharpening. I did a presentation on Halloween at the International Beauty Sharpeners Association, and I thought you'd like to see it. The audio is not great. We're going to be looking at curved shears. But I'm going to talk about the sharpening curve shears. I don't do many groomers. I do mostly hair salons. And curve shears are not just for groomers. This was up on stage, and we actually sold out of all our curve shears at this show. So you're going in, you're cutting with the point of it. You get a little bit more separation, a little bit more texture. Most of them do not have curve shears now. <coughs> So to sell them something they don't already have, and if they see them on stage using it, and they know they can't do that haircut without that shear. Now, Robin is an amazing salesperson. I met her at a hair show, and uh, she fell in love with one of my shears, and we use her as education. Okay, the problem with sharpening curved shears is that you can't put them on a water stuff. They all have different curves to them. And if you try to put them on a stone, they're just to, to do the ride line, you can't do it. All the curved shears, when they make them in the factory, they make them straight, and then afterwards they curve. So the bad news is that you can't put them on, you can't sharpen them the way they did in the factory. The good news is if you have to bend the blade, you, you can pretty well relax. I've never, I guess somebody has, but I've never seen anybody break a blade on a curved shear when they're trying to uh, adjust it. Have you? No, because they, they, they're, they're bendable. Now, for doing the rod line, there are, um, this has been the traditional thing, the Wolf's Little Ceramic Stone, which works okay. We had, um, one time the Sharpener's Jam, um, Jim Turner came in, I think second place or third place he had, we called it the um, Redneck Rod, uh, redneck home and he had a can of Raid and he had a PSA tape you know piece on there and he would pull it across there but <laughs> but um, this is a nail buffer I like that I use it on a lot of stuff it's it's the it's not an emery board but it's the one that's 3,000 grit and it's real smooth and it's flexible that works good it doesn't give you a crisp edge but you can smooth out the rod but this is Dana's um, Ride Liner Pro and um, that works well. There's, there's some, some things, you know, nothing's perfect, okay? Unless you can straighten it out and go back to the factory and do it. This is um, Ray Pope's um, little equipment. I've seen it for the first time this last week. If you are on Sharpener's Chat, I had a picture of that because someone brought it to my office and I didn't know what it was. And it, it expands a long, long thing of people that loved it and hated it. Now, this is what I use, and I'll pass this around. This is a 2000 grit um, Shapton stone that we send to the people that do the granite work on your furniture, I mean, on your cabinets, and they round it off. And I put tape on it, electrical tape. One is one single level electric, electrical tape, and the other is double level. So, you know how the blade is, is flat and then it has a little, uh, John Paul didn't say it was a twist. What did he call it? Helical. 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 Anyway, so it's not flat here, but it has a little bit of a helical. whatever, helical to it. So that the distance between the back spine and the edge will change as it goes down. So this isn't perfect, but I can use that round side with a single tape up to a certain point on my blade, and then I flip it over and do the other. And after you're used to using it, I actually most of the time don't even bother with that tape because you can kind of feel with your thumb as you're, as you're going across it. The other thing I found this was really good for when you do those cheap Pakistani scissors and the ride line's all over the place, you can kind of follow that crazy ride line and make it work. This, this is kind of like my my little go-to on, or, or even like scissors you don't want to take apart, you just want a nice smooth inside ride. And here's some pictures of me using it. I put, oh, I'm a big believer in red sharpie. I should have bought stock in it. But I put red sharpie down the blade so I can see if I've got that rise. And that can tell me if it's gone. And I use that wet, by the way. It's kind of nice. You see my little Dixie cup over here? I'll dump it in the little red Dixie cup of water and get it wet before I use it. Now, putting the outside edge on curved shears. Everybody has their own way of doing it. 
when I used to use the um, just uh, the Simec as it is, I would use a cushion plate so I could keep that tip up in the air and then and just work the outside of the edge. Um, twice as sharp. You see a couple of different things. Ray Pub came out with this diamond wheel up here, which I like, but it was too aggressive for my beauty shears. It might work fine for dog rooms. This is the Simec Curve Adapter. And I got a picture of my 14-year-old granddaughter up here. I'm very proud of her. Because I was trying to come up with some kind of a ring that I could put my hook it on and pull off their braces. You could have whatever braces you need on here. And she was like, she called me Gigi. She said, Gigi, she said, we can do that in uh, 3D printing. So she went, she was with me this summer at, at the office, and she went online, found a library that was teaching three classes in 3D printing and designing and Tinkercad. And I went with her because they were for adults. And she learned all this stuff, and that's her there at the library designing. Uh, we're working on another thing for Clipper Blades. That's what she's working on here, there. But uh, the 3D, this is done with 3D printing. Now I send it to an actual, because I'm making so many, we've sold so many. Um, at a, a place in downtown Atlanta by Georgia Tech that does the 3D printing for me. All right, so are we ready for the scariest shear of them all? Right. Drum roll. This is the last one. 